Hi, everybody, and welcome to another quick tip of the week from Evolve EdTech. My name is Tristan, and I am a content creator here at Evolve EdTech. And thank you so much for joining us for another quick tip of the week. This week, we are going to explore how we can use um, multiple page orientations in Google Docs now, and how we can also insert watermarks into Google Docs, two relatively new features which are revolutionary when it comes to Google Docs. They are particular formatting uh, techniques that we probably used before in other applications, but they are brand new to Docs and they are amazing. But before we get into having a look at that this week, I just want to remind you, if you haven't done so already, we'd love it if you subscribe to the Evolve EdTech YouTube channel. All right, by subscribing to our channel, you are continuing to inspire us to continue sharing tips, tricks, and tools to help you integrate technology into your classroom and with your colleagues, your students, and even your school community. So please go and subscribe to the Evolve EdTech YouTube channel. Well, let's dive right in and have a look at this week's quick tips. So I am just using an example um, Google Docs document that I have. Uh, it is a study guide that I put together for E12 in 2021. So I'm going to go and first show you how we can change the page orientation. So at the moment, this particular document is all laid out in portrait. Okay, it's all portrait. And previously with Google Docs, you could not have a combination of portrait and landscape pages in one document. Now, this made things really challenging when it came to creating documents or resources for your uh, class, for your colleagues, or even your school community. But now, alas, we can actually change the page orientations, which is fantastic. So I'm going to go and just select some content that we are going to change that that particular page orientation for. So I'm going to start up here with this one here, which is some tips that we give students about how to create, um, you know, or how, how to study. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the text that we would like the page orientation to be different for. So I'm going to highlight my text. I'm then going to right click on this text. Oops going to go down here and right click and you'll see just here there is a section that says change page to landscape and we're going to click on that so you're going to highlight your text you're going to right click and then you're going to choose change page to landscape and that is how you are going to change and create different page orientations in google docs now how cool is that so you can go through just highlight the text that you need to change and then just right click, followed by change page to landscape, and you can see there. All right, how simple is that? It's so great that we can now use uh, portrait and landscape orientations in the one Google Docs document. How fantastic is that? So that's the first quick tip of this week that I wanted to show you, how to use multiple page orientations in the one Google Docs document. The second quick tip this week, so it's a double whammy this week, is another really cool feature. So maybe you have a particular image, a logo, something that represents your class, your subject, your faculty, your school, your district, whatever you do, and you'd like to start branding maybe your resources a little bit more professionally. Well, you can now start to do that by adding a watermark to your Google Docs document. So let's go and add a watermark to this one. I'm going to add the Evolve EdTech logo as an example for you today. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our Docs document open. We're going to head up to the Insert tab, which is up in the tab bar up the top here. We're going to click on Insert, and we're going to scroll down to Watermark. At the moment, it's got a new tab, a little a new label next to it, but you know that's only there for the for the moment. So we're looking for watermark. We're going to click on watermark. Then we've got a couple of options here. We're going to select our image. At the moment, we can only use images, but that's okay. That's okay. And hopefully, in the future, you'll be able to use some text. So I'm actually going to go and find. Um, you can actually go and. Uh, add your images from all kinds of different places. So we've got uh, your Google Drive, your photos, uh, your Google image search, which is fantastic. So all of those are going to be uh, appropriate images. You could add it by URL, by your camera if you wanted to. I don't think it's going to allow me right now. Oh, there I am. Uh, we will just 
cancel that because I do not look good right now. And you can also insert by uploading. And that's how we are going to do this today. We're going to upload the Evolve EdTech logo, which I know is down here somewhere in this giant mess of a downloads folder. All right, so I have popped that in there. I can scale my uh, logo to whatever size I would like and I can fade it. So let's have a look and see how this looks in my document. There it is there, looking good. All right, so it's obviously there in the background. If we head back up to format, sorry, insert, watermark, we can go and edit that as well. So maybe we want it a bit smaller. Okay, we can manually choose as well. All right, so there it is there. All right, we can take the fading off if we would like a little bit more solid, but um, obviously the watermark is generally something that is a little bit more faded. So that's how you can add a watermark to your document. Really simple and a really great way of being able to brand your documents and resources for your particular school or community. A really great nifty feature that's been added into Google Docs. Well, that's the end of today's quick tip of the week. Thank you so much for joining us as we have looked at how you can change your page orientations in Google Docs. So you can use a portrait and landscape in the one doc and how you can now insert a watermark into a Google Docs document. Now, before heading off today, just want to remind you, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'd love it if you connected with us on social media. We've got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, which are all part of the Evolve EdTech community. So come and join us and be part of Evolve EdTech and our beautiful family of educators. Anyway, my name is Tristan. Thank you so much for joining us for this quick tip of the week. And until next time, stay safe, everybody.